new from vinegar syndrome is the lamp otherwise known as the outing i uh, was kind of curious going into this one because evil genies are kind of something i'm interested in although there's not too many movies wishmaster being the, the most notable one that can pop into my mind and i was really curious about this movie which has um, a couple of strange openings first one we see a kind of old-timey ship as there is a lot of blood and destruction on it then we jump to a group of three people who are just kind of horrible characters i just didn't like them uh, and it turns out they're going to rob an old woman now i was um i was hoping that these weren't going to be the main characters and they're not these don't last too long into the movie ultimately uh, finding the lamp releasing the genie and dying horrible deaths which i was glad to see because i hated these people i wanted to see them gone and it takes a good chunk of the movie before we actually get to our main character like a, a good 20 minutes into it before we meet alex and i kind of liked alex she is the uh, daughter of a professor someone who's studying the lamp so it speaks she picks up a bracelet when he's in the office one point putting it on not realizing that it's connected to the lamp at a certain point her current boyfriend uh, is having a good relationship but she seems to have an ex-boyfriend as well that is causing all kinds of trouble um, trying to murder her several times including trying to ram their car off the road at the start of it but it's a really fun car chase and one that i really kind of enjoyed basically the movie gets to a situation where we have a group of characters the genie in the lamp the bad boyfriend all in the one situation and people are going to die horrible deaths now it takes a little bit of a dip in the middle as it starts to slow down ever so slightly before getting that energy to ramp up to the finale where we're going to get some blood and guts and horribly atmospheric intense sequences and I really do feel that the movie delivers on a lot of these sequences but not just the blood and the gore and the scares and the chills it actually has characters that I liked and that can take you a hell of a long way when you're sitting down and watching one of these movies I liked uh, Alex I liked Ted um, I even liked Mike the bad guy uh, for most part because he was a nice antagonist you know one that ultimately knew he was going to get his comeuppance uh, fairly early on and he does so but all these characters uh, intermingling was just incredibly fun watching them just talk to each other badmouth each other fight get into this situation where horrible things can happen to them i liked it i thought the blood and the gore and there's certain sequences that just really kind of um, stand out to me there is a moment with snakes which i'm not a particular fan but they made my skin crawl watching this movie made me kind of wince and look away a little bit and i love when i was uh, when i know i'm into a movie that much that it's having that kind of effect on me there's a moment where people are wearing masks uh, one is a torture mask and he doesn't realize it and he gets to die a bloody death as the the invisible genie tightens this thing as the blood thick uh, runs from the holes in the mask it's just a horrible death and we get to the kind of practical finale when we get to see the genie and the destruction that it's caused i i i really enjoyed the outing or the lamp i i found it was one that um, had some really good performances in it had really good production um had a really interesting tale that i was thoroughly in on and characters that i really enjoyed it's not the best made movie ever but it's one that i will go back to and watch again it's one that gave me some fun moments and for a nice 90 minute thrilling horror movie i got everything i could possibly want deaths uh, boobs uh i think that's it that's pretty much just yeah let me just double check boobs death yeah everything i could possibly want in one of these um slasher movies uh, what else can i say the, the lamp was something i i enjoyed something i will go back to again um a really kind of fun tongue-in-cheek horror movie that i can recommend didn't have a, a great deal of money behind it but it didn't slow it down uh, or stop it uh, stop it in its steps or its aspirations it, it achieved what it was after i'd love to know your thoughts on the lamp let me know in the comment box below and i'll see you next time on man v film